So this morning, I am in New Jersey. My first time ever in New Jersey. Through hiking the Batona Trail. That's B-A-T-O-N-A. -A. Chris and Lori from Light AF were cool enough to ask me to come up and hike this trail with them. Dutch from Dutch Wear is also out on the trail with us. Actually, he's up ahead of me right now. Night hiked in last night a few miles. Beautiful morning. It was like 21 degrees last night, so a little bit colder than I think any of us thought it was gonna get. That was good. One last little cold snap. I think the plan is to do like somewhere around 18 miles today and check out this trail. There's one of the pink blazes right there. Now you can see the trail is it's pretty cruisy. The total elevation gain is like 900 feet for this whole trail. There's not a whole lot of information, but from what Chris has told me, there's a reroute. The official mileage for it this year is uh, around 56, 57 miles, something like that. So, good little bit of a walk, should be fun ice crystals on everything. Oh yeah. Major road crossing. You don't want to get hit by that traffic. So just getting into the first few miles of this trail this morning first thoughts man are just I am pleasantly surprised at how pretty this trail is the trails all lined with moss and I'm liking it it's really flat man you can fly on this thing it's really easy to follow it's blazed in these hot pink there's one right there yeah I'm still just cruising down the trail Should catch up to Dutch here pretty soon and Chris and Lori are behind me and Chris look confusing we got two Chris's out here. Really nice guy. Just enjoying this morning, man. Awesome. Can't tell if this is a fire tower. Oh, it is a fire tower. Let's see if we can go up on this bad boy. right up here. Oh, the sun feels so good. Oh, down the top. This trail is in the Pine Barrens. If you look way out in the distance, you know if you can see that. Way over there. All right, cool. That's how you get warm in the morning. Climb a fire tower. There's like a, a ranger station with a gift shop and bathrooms and some snacks and drinks. An eighth of a mile past the first fire tower. It's 0.1 miles off of the main trail. So there are a few hills on this trail. Nothing crazy so far. I don't know, maybe a 40 foot, 50 foot. Is that guy there? This trail is really, really cruisy. You could, I don't even, I don't know. I'm gonna be curious to see. I think you can easily hit 
three and a half, four, maybe even above four miles per hour. You can really move along on this thing. Pretty fun. Oh wow, I guess there's, there's mile markers every half mile, it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. First set of catwalks. Getting a little swampy. It's pretty cool. Finally caught up to these guys, having a little break at Packham Pond. Is there a reason that it's flipping me off? <laughs> this, welcome. This trail is rude. This one uh, moves a lot. Dude, this is really cool. Not what I was expecting, man. Really not. That just looks like looks like pea soup. Oh, look at this the step! It's not. It looked at first. I was like, oh, it's smoke. That is ash. It is warm. really cool the, the contrast between the dark from the controlled burn this spring and all the green like Chris was saying that just makes everything pop pretty sweet This is the apple pie hill fire tower. Pretty cool. He's up there. Cool the way you can see the burned area. 
you're asking the wrong person, man. Yeah. I was thinking it was like a factory or something. That's, that's a lot of smoke. No, no, that's a fire. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I heard you see that big black area right there we just walked through. I know, it's cool. It looks like a shadow. <laughs> He's down there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there is a, that's a tea kettle. Yeah, it's the summer. There's an actual teapot. You know, it's one of the trees over here. Oh, it's still there, though. Oh, cool. I took one of those in for show and tell in like the fifth grade, and I forgot about it and left it in my locker, and Oops. they hatched out yeah. all over the class. They're freaking so cute. <laughs> yeah, they are cool. Like, like they were placed there. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Okay, it looks like smoke. Should I inhale some of it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> This trail is uh, like single track, pretty flat, like really cruisy, covered in pine, pine needles, and then some of it is more like what I'm on right now, which uh, like a fire road, sandy, some loose sand, some some packed. This is pretty packed. You can really move along. And then apparently Chris was telling me that a lot of the trail is also following uh, fire breaks because they do a lot of controlled burns here so there's lots of fire breaks dug out and so you'll jump on that on the trail too but it's really cool man lots of kind of swampy looking areas lots of big cedars lots of pine trees of course but it's cool at mile 24 it looks like so we just passed the halfway point few miles ago. Wow. Getting piled up. Just looks like I mean, these guys just everywhere. When you look back, it looks hazy because of all the light colored trees. There's just piles of cedars. This is cool. When I was researching this trail just to see what, you know, just find out a few things, there's really not a whole lot available. And I feel like the information that is out there does not do it justice because it's a really cool trail. 
Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Really pretty. I hope that this, uh, I hope the camera on this phone is doing this justice. I think people should check it out. It's not a crazy long trail, but it's a good amount of miles. Good way to get some miles under your belt, test out gear and see, you know, especially if you were like new to backpacking, this would be ideal. All the campsites so far at least have an outhouse or privy and there's water everywhere, but there's also uh, pumps at the campsite so you don't even have to filter water, which is super nice. There's fire rings. I mean, this is it's pretty sweet. Anybody want to come with me? Nope. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of briars for everybody. I know it's down there. Looks like you got enough down trees to hop along so you keep somewhat dry feet. No. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I mean, oh, I know. I've walked among it, but it's yeah, just. It's, it's so bad. Oh, it's so, it even it even sounds different in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The floor is all squishy and oh, wet. It's, it's like <laughs> it's like a soft, cloudy pillow. No. <laughs> no, look at it. You can't. No. It's too wet and boggy. That would be... Yeah. It, they're always grown in a real low-lying area. Yeah. And water. Yeah, and six inches of water. Yeah, this doesn't grow in dry areas. Yeah. It's all, ne it's all next to the creeks. Yeah. And to the floodplain, boggy area. I had to come back down in here and get some closer video of this trees are so big so straight I mean it, it really like when I stand at the edge of the of the woods and look in I just expect to see a dinosaur like a brontosaurus or and the floor is all covered in super spongy small just this moss it's, and when you step on it it feels like like a mattress it's super cool. Super, super cool. Good time. Now if I can just get out of the uh, sticker bushes without too much more of that. Huh, I wonder who's been here. Okay, this section is a little different. This is like full on loose. It's like walking on the beach, like sugar sand. You just turn the corner and all of a sudden it's like super white sand. Crazy, that was a really short stretch though. Now it's getting, it's getting more packed. Oh, now we're back into loose sand. Cool. Just a different section of the trail. Is this where you were you're saying the contrast of the the burned trees and the yeah. green? Uh, yeah, all this underbrush fresh leaves. It's a really cool building, but I think I'm more concerned with the vending machines. Yeah, but like, there was a few times. I was just like, I'm really surprised we didn't run into your wife here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just kept going. I'll trade you a cheetah for a Frito. There you go, hon. Huh. Or do you use them all? Here you go. Oh, I'll it over at you. 
Oh, yeah, I got a couple over here already. I don't like, yeah, I pull out my knife. Of course. And he's like, dude, what the fuck is this? It's like a samurai sword. And you, you need a knife to open the package. <laughs> oh, I got you covered. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like, I'll, I'll hurt myself with this. He hands it back and he pulls out his thing. And he's struggling to cut all the way through and I'm laughing like at him. Kid's and split up all that firewood. True. How else did I get all that spy? That's true. Forest? Yeah, I usually carry sriracha cha cha, but it's so thick and it's tough to get out sometimes. I'm like sitting there shaking sometimes and then too much comes out. So <laughs> I was like, oh, this is nice and liquidy. Mm -hmm. Did the village wrap like all the way around here? Uh, it just goes straight down here. Yeah, there's more buildings down there. Oh, it goes down that way. Yeah. And the trail on the other side of the Molokka River that ran parallel to the last several miles we just did. It should come down back there. Comes through here. Pretty neat to go through all the buildings there. Hi, Hello! Hi. Cool, spooky looking trees around the village. So, it looks like if you're interested, there is a grist mill, a visitor center. A shop and a general store. Pretty cool little village. The whole thing? Do I have to get everything wet? Yeah, like feet above the head, full on, just plow. Can, should I cannonball? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like it's nothing. Nice. Hello. <laughs> there he goes. Holy no way, dude. Oh, I just ran about a quarter mile to catch this guy. And there he goes, walking away. Oh, dude. Oh, he's on the ground. Oh, man. Oh, hating it. Oh, he just bailed out and started walking. Hammock's in there. Ooh. Tarp's in there. <laughs> this guy. What else do you got? This this food? <laughs> the fact of the matter is you've climbed over this thing four times. <laughs> 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 This is the turn to Buttonwood Camp. And there are bathrooms, a river, a marina. And if the bathrooms are locked up, there's also a, uh, an outhouse. So, and there's probably about four campsites with fire rings, good place for hammocks, good place for tents. So, it's only, I think it's about three quarters, maybe a mile off of the Batana Trail. So, good place to camp. It was fun. Yeah, my knees were feeling a little bit sore for a couple of weeks before, um, before I started this a few days ago. And it was just, I think I was just going too hard in the gym. But they're feeling really good right now. No issues whatsoever. So, we got like 15 or 16. 16 miles to finish this trail today something like that so see if I can knock it out 
maybe in uh, three and a half, four hours. I don't know. We'll see. But feeling good. Feeling good. The weather's perfect right now, actually. I need to maybe lose a shirt. But yeah, trail's sweet. Nice, cruisy. Enjoying it. This is a cool section right here. Real dense cedar trees. It's like the haunted forest. It's funny, the color of the trees, it totally looks like fog or like mist, even though it's just because the brush is so light. Look at the texture of that tree. All right, this is interesting. Holy muddy. All right, I'm gonna try and keep the feet dry today. That looks, that looks like a good time. Let's swim across that. Hmm. Guess we're going bushwhacking. Oh yeah, good stuff. over here too. Oh, okay. One wet foot. <clears throat> All right. That wasn't too bad. For some reason I got the trail name Briar on this trip. I can't see why. <laughs> uh, I like the name though. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Okay, so we had like a half mile road walk. Well, probably not even a half mile, eighth of a mile. Road walk over the, over a river. Now we're getting back on the trail. I think it was Edmonds Bridge, something like that, where you cross the river. I don't know, I'm not sure. That's a pretty short road walk, no big deal. And then right back into the trees, so. Well, according to Pine Barren's Leather, Chris number 12, this is the, I believe this is the TV tree. It's shaped like a TV or a fireplace, maybe. I don't know. Really cool though. Old tree. It's awesome. Pretty cool. So there are a few reroutes on this trail, and this is one of them. And this is apparently three miles before you get to the southern end of the trail, which is Bass River Trailhead. So, looks like I got three more miles to go. All right, so it's 1.20 right now. I was hoping to get there by two o'clock, so. I got three miles to go. So, just keep rolling and see what happens. I should get there, I think. I don't know. We'll see.
see. Ah, I just walked like an eighth of a mile down this sand road. Thought I was on the trail. I didn't see any blazes. Now I'm headed back. I still don't see any blazes on the back side of the trees, so I must have I guess I turned the wrong way. There was a little bit of a uh, intersection with a couple of little trails and went the wrong way. So now I gotta backtrack. Just have to walk faster. There's a, I don't know, maybe like a tenth of a mile road walk. I see some parked cars. Maybe this is where we're parked? I have no idea. I do not remember. I guess we'll see. Okay, I believe that is Pine Baron Leather Chris's Explorer Tenant Trail Parking. So I am done. 20 minutes past my goal. Boom. Yeah, oh, there's the zero. So, I guess I should, that's, we're good. We're done.